Why don't we give a big round of applause to Mr. Karim Babe? Wow. Thank you, Viana. It's so good to be here. Dear Excellencies, Permanent Representatives, UN High Officials, Representatives from Civil Societies, Private Sector, Government, Youth Delegate, and all international viewers who are tuning in today to witness this unique event. I am Kareem Babe. I'm the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Friendship Ambassadors Foundations. And I'm so thrilled and honored to be the 2018 Youth Chair of the United Nations. Just 17 years ago, I was in your shoes. I just started my career on Wall Street. I never forget my first day at work. I was heading downtown to the World Financial Center to start in the mergers and acquisition department at the investment banking decision of Lehman Brothers when 9-11 hit. My building collapsed. I am a 9-11 survivor. Nine eleven taught me that the mission of any business goes above and beyond just making money. It taught me compassion, but it also taught me resilience to defy the odds and pursue my dream. My dream is a united and free world. Ever since, I have dedicated my life and career to fostering cultural exchanges and mutual understanding. This led me first to get involved as a board member of the Friendship Ambassadors Foundation, then as a chairman of the board of directors of the FAF, the producer of the United Nations Youth Assembly. We at FAF aim to empower young people through global education youth leadership development, and cultural exchange programs. We envision a peaceful and sustainable society that embodies diversity, mutual understanding, solidarity, and cooperation. The Youth Assembly is a unique event that brings together over a 1,000 young people from over 100 countries from all over the world. The Youth Assembly is in its 21st session, having engaged more than 15,000 young people since 2002. With the advent of the internet, coupled with the emergence of decentralized technologies, whether it is blockchain technologies or its derivatives, there has never been a better time in human history to elevate the voice of youth in global dialogue. Your generation is the largest generation of vision makers. Just imagine 1.8 billion people involved in radical decision making and shaping their future and the future of humankind. The world has finally embraced youth as the engine that fuels innovation, social justice, human, women's, minorities' rights by strengthening international connections and developing new partnerships. Today, with the advancement of blockchain technology, Corporate governance and decision-making is slowly moving away from a select group of stakeholders 
representing another select group of shareholders to a much wider audience who has a say and a stake in how product and services are to be delivered. This is unprecedented time in decentralized decision making. Blockchain shifts control over daily interaction with technology away from central elites, redistributing it among users. In doing so, makes our systems more transparent and quite frankly, more democratic. You are so lucky to be part of this revolution. The theme of this assembly is to co-create impactful innovation and collaboration for a sustainable world. We look forward to having a meaningful dialogue about the role of technology in human development and how we can build resilient partnerships to achieve the 2030 agenda. The program over the next three days will focus on five sustainable development goals, clean water, renewable energy, sustainable cities and communities, responsible production and consumption, and life on our beautiful land. Those goals were carefully chosen in alignment with the upcoming 2018 high-level political forum. It is impressive. We are convening over 120 speakers representing UN agencies, private sector, public sector, civil society, and academia. We are particularly proud to be working with the permanent missions of Austria, Mongolia, and the Slovak Republic. We would like to thank them for their help and support in planning this wonderful event. We would also like to thank the President of the General Assembly for attending tonight's event. It is such an honor to host him, and we thank him for his consistent commitment to championing youth voices at the United Nations and beyond. As a young entrepreneur, I was never afraid of failing, but I was always afraid of not daring. As Winston Churchill so wisely put it, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. My dear youth delegates, you are what my generation was not. You are what all generations should be. You are the shapers of humanity. You are the voice of the future. And the future is here. So go and grab it. Thank you.